Welcome back to you, Boom, you guys. Um, I'm coming with coming at you with a new profile for Elemental Heroes. So I always wanted to um, showcase my hero deck profile before, but you know, Stratos being banned and stuff, and you know, all that good stuff. Um, but Stratos is back, so. Um, I just wanted, I made this deck profile, it was actually a different profile before, I was actually going to do it before the ban list came out, but with the ban list being released, and Stratos back, completely changed the way I played, or I was going to have the deck before, so, um, so a lot of this is in theory, um, so I haven't been able to play test it a lot, but, um, I would definitely like to know your suggestions for this deck, um, so yeah, just make sure you comment down below, right after you're done watching the video, so let's get started. All right, so of course we're gonna play the new monster that came out in the Megatons. We're gonna play three solid soldiers, um, just to summon a hero from your hands, really good. And then if you sent from the monsters onto the graveyard by spell effect, obviously by mass change, you can get um, explore summon back a hero. So it's always good to get your shadow mist effects off uh, really easily. Um, and yeah, just overall good card. Too bad it wasn't called Solid Man, but yeah. Um, so we're gonna play three shadow mist. Um, like I said, the second, or, I mean, tied with first for the best hero monster, probably with Solid Soldier, just to get your heroes out. Um, don't have to rely on Goblinberg, um, because, you know, Solid Soldier, you can search them off of E-Call, so it's a lot easier now. Um, but yeah. And then, obviously, Stratos. We're gonna use Stratos in this deck. Um, just to get removal off of his effect is really good. Um, and then just to add in case. You know, whenever you want to, basically. Um, I just play one Bubble Man. I just want to focus on the Shadow Mist um, and getting Dark Law out with maybe, um, with like maybe some like uh, protection behind it, or or maybe some of the other cards you can see in this deck profile that I added um, that I thought would work well together. So yeah, so just one Bubble Man, just um, just in case you know you want to get out of Easy Rank Four or to summon the Acid. You know, that's also a good spot removal card. So, but yeah, just right now, one Bubble Man. Um, I am playing the two Honest Neos as an Honest for the deck. Um, when you have Dark Law out there, it's pretty easy to run over because it only has 2400 attack. So having this in your hand is always good just to um, just to be able to uh, protect it. So that's why I like running it. Um, and then for the little spicy engine I have with this deck. Um, like I said it's a fusion based deck. Um, I am playing the uh, Invokes. So three Alistair the Invoker. Um, you can use this as a hand trap with the Dark Claw. That way your Dark Claw is able to stay out there uh, in case somebody wants to run it over. Um, and then just Invocation. Invocation is a good card. You can use it even to summon your elemental hero fusion monsters. So why not? Uh, one Goblinberg just to get the you know easy rank four out to get the Shadow Mist out, um, always good. And then I play one Damage Juggler and one Hat Tricker. Um, this is just like I said a hand trap, and then just to search this out. I um, mean Hat Tricker is really good too because in case there's two monsters out on the field, no matter where they're on the field, you can always summon it extra link plays or extra rank four um, fodder. So that's why he's there. And then now for the spells, um, we're gonna play three E calls. Um, now with the Saw Soldier out, um, just e able to e uh, easily um, get him from the deck, or if you already have him, you get Shadow Mist or Stratos or whatever you want to search. Um, now this card is just even more broken. Um, and then we play three Mass Chain, and then one Mass Chain is a second, um, just in case you have like a you know an, an extra deck monster out there, and um, you want to summon one of your Mass Heroes, depending on what the attribute it is. It's always good there, just in case. And the Mass Chain obviously is broken. Still waiting for that new Link monster, the Link 2, that one's really good. That one will recur back all your mass changes. And then this card, Super Polymerization, um, this card is back. Um, I like to use this card more as a disruptor, um, in case like your opponent summons like, something pretty big or something pretty um, annoying, and you just flip this on them. Um, that's why I have my extra deck with a few of the Elemental Hero monsters. So yeah. So that's, that. I mean, that's why I like Super Poly, because it just disrupts your opponent. Or you can use it as an extender. Um, one fusion substitute. 
Um, sometimes maybe if you don't get your mask changes, you could pop, you know, fuse into something. Um, whether it be an invoke monster or a hero monster. Um, so yeah, that's why I run the one fusions up to. That way you can put your fusions back in your extra deck and draw a card. So that's always good. Um, two scapegoats. Um, just for the extra um, protection or the extra um, links or just to get in links out so that's why he's in here all right and then uh you know since we do run the um alistair link uh, or not the link but the alistair invoker um run two invocations um just to search it out and then like i said you can summon your elemental hero monsters uh, the regular fusions with this card as well um as long as you have the materials in your hand so he's it's really good um and then just summon like kava is always good um, two knowledge just for draw power and um, like you have the hat trick around. I think he's a spellcaster. Um, Alistair's a spellcaster. Um, the juggler is a spellcaster, so that way you can just send it to the graveyard and then you can be like banished at the hat tricker. So that's why I like the knowledge in here. Um, then the one ofs, one rota, one summon dice. I'm trying this card out um, just to get free summons, or you can summon the honest things from your hand. Um, that's what this is for. Uh, one Monster Reborn, one Dark Hole, one Regeki, one Soul Charge. Um, Soul Charge is just in your plays, board wipes, Monster Reborn, you know, the gist. And just for traps, I just play two strikes and one warning. Pretty easy and standard, just to stop your opponent, right? Um, so yeah, that's for the main deck. So, uh, going into the extra deck, um, like I said, um, a lot you could play with, um, like I said, a lot of this is in theory. So like I said before, I would like to get your comments down below about what I should play or suggestions. And um, yeah, but let's go right into it. So for the rank fours, um, not playing so much. Um, just the Casto and Baguska. Baguska in case you're going first and like maybe you can't get access to your mass change. So it's just there, stop your opponent. And then Casto just to get rid of problematic monsters. So. This was there. Maybe it could be switched out for an Exiton Knight. Maybe we'll see. Um, like I said, I want to see your suggestions. And then for the links, um, I'm just playing two of the Land Forankis. I said that right. Um, everything is a warrior, but there are a lot of different attributes. So, I mean, I could run these sold, but these sold, I don't want to search something and then not be able to use it. Um, that's probably the only reason why. I didn't run these sold, um, so I'm just running something generic that can point down, so that way I can get an extra zone. So um, I thought this would be generic. I mean, it goes for one clock taker, so um, but yeah, I just I just decided these two, you know, because funny that way. So why not? But like I said, suggestions always appreciate them. Um, since we're not running the invoked, um, just playing two macabas. Um, I think he's probably the most annoying one out of all of them. Um, maybe the Earth one could be good, just as a beater. Um, but like I said, for now, just just these, you know, just in case um, you want to get rid of something in the graveyard with the invocation. Um, but yeah, um, or like Super Poly, you could um, we have Alistair and they have a Light Monster. You could Super Poly into that. So that's always annoying. I would think that'd be annoying, I should say. Um, so for the super poly and vocation targets, I guess you could say, for the heroes, one is Skiridal for dark monsters, one shiny for light monsters, and one great tornado, just because Stratos is back. <laughs> um, but I like him because he can make, he makes all your opponent's monsters half. So that's good, doesn't target. Um, but yeah, um, this is what I'm playing right now. Um, like I said, just for light and dark monsters, usually those are the big beaters that people um, like to play. Um, and Great Turner is just there for style points, to a point. Um, and then for the mass heroes, uh, one Divine Wind, because like I said, Strauss is back. One Dian, so, uh, solid soldier um, target. Um, and he has a good effect to summon out your mo other monsters. One Acid for the Bubble Man. Um, and then one Anki and two Dark Law. I still like running two Dark Law because he is still a pretty mean monster to summon. So, um, you know, just to disrupt your opponent. So that's why I still like having 
two dark levels. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the profile. Um, like I said, I'm still tinkering with this deck. Um, a lot of this is in theory. Um, Want to get your suggestions about how to make this deck better. Um, and yeah, like I said, heroes are back. Um, I hope it comes back. <laughs> you start seeing competitive, hopefully. Um, it'll be really fun. And uh, yeah, just make sure you check out our channel, guys. Watch our other profiles. Um, got a lot of stuff coming. Um, but yeah, um, just uh, make sure you check out Instagram and Twitter for updates. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. <laughs>